Security, privacy, and data collection are at the forefront right now of lawmakers' questions for the head of TikTok. The House Energy Committee held a hearing to talk about the risks of the very, very popular social media app. The app has more than 150 million American users, but the company's relationship with China's government is a big concern for U.S. officials. So I just want to ask you um, if, uh, if TikTok did track and collect the sensitive data that Americans um, don't want to have disclosed. We actually do not believe we collect more data than any other social media company out there. A lot of it is speculation. You know, this is something they could do, they could do. But if you look at the subtext, this is something that so every I, company I, could I, do. I, I A ban of TikTok could be coming, and that worries Connecticut influencers. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash spoke with a barber who relies on the app for new business. Sam Balia is living the American dream. I moved uh, as a refugee. And the top, how, you, how do you, what do you do with the top? He came to the United States from Yugoslavia with his brother in 1999. He went to school a little bit, and then I started as a baker. Sam the baker quickly became Sam the barber. He opened his Rocky Hill barber shop in 2019, and not long after, COVID hit. So during that time, I was bored at home. I started doing TikToks. Even though his business was shut down, it was really just ramping up in the grand scheme of things. We get it every day. Every day we get new clients. Sam says that he spends a couple hours a week plugging in the ring light, setting up all the equipment, and making new content so that he can get new clients. He relies on TikTok and other social media to grow his client base. So what were to happen to businesses like Sam's if TikTok were banned? Definitely it would hurt. Ralph Archer saw Sam's barber shop on his For You page. He wasn't looking for a new barber, but tried him out anyways. I saw what they were doing. It caught my attention. I started watching more videos. Archer isn't alone. Belia says he's gotten well over 100 new clients and support from all over the world because of his videos. He fears that would change if TikTok is no more, so he has a backup plan. TikTok has like made me improve the other social media with my editing and stuff, and I brought the same videos to other platforms and uh, made boost my other stuff. In Rocky Hill, Luke Hydash, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.